do you know what Dobra is famous for? Do you have any ideas? Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys. Welcome to Check This Out. I'm Greg. I'm still traveling through the Mazovian capital of culture. Now I'm in Dobre. I'm standing in front of the oldest brick school in the Minsk district. Come on, I'll show you inside. If you remember the films from Minsk Mazowiecki, there was a talented artist, Louis Dugos. Here in this municipality was raised an equally talented artist. It was Konstanty Laszka. Before he was known in Dobre, he was already known internationally. Laszka was a sculptor, a painter, and a graphic designer. After Laszka began to be famous, John Zig, his friend, the director of a local school, had an idea to create a museum in his name. So John Zig started to collect pieces of art from all over Poland and bring them here to Dobre. It was quite a big challenge, but he was successful. Also, many pieces of art were given here to the museum by Laszka's family. Thanks to this, we have a great collection here in Dobre. A short break in my trip. I am still in the Dobre municipality. I decided to come to the nature reserve Torfowisko Zawały. Around the nature reserve, many people have recreational summer homes. This forest makes me think that I'm on the Polish coast of the Baltic Sea. We're in Makowiec Mały, in the Dobre municipality. This is one of the three mills in the area. This water mill is from the 19th century. It is unique because many TV series are recorded here. Come to Dobre in August for the harvest event. You'll be able to see all the places that I've shown you so far and all the places that I haven't been able to put in this film. Now I am in the Stanisławów municipality. Oh, there it is. What you see behind me is a historic inn from 1813. It is a remnant of the Lithuanian tract. And today, it's a thriving center of culture. There are many contests, concerts, and meetings. And among other things, there is the Stashkov Yakov Children's Club. There are also local country women's groups which very actively promote culinary dishes, arts and crafts, and folk tradition. If you happen to be in Stanisławów in September, be sure to stop by for the Stanisławów Days event. I'm sure it's going to be very interesting. We are still in the same municipality, but in Żonza. The Żonza flows from the Kaushan area into the Narvia River. It twists and turns and creates a very stunning landscape. I heard many people around here have summer homes because it's a great place to relax. As a matter of fact, I think I'm gonna go try to find an agro-tourism farm to stay 
for a night or two. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Check This Out. Contest. It sound right, boy.